Guys, it's Unidentified Fool here, and today I'm bringing in my first ever review WWE All Stars. I've started the video off, we've shown you the different characters that the WWE All Stars have provided, and it starts all the way from like Andre the Giant, Sergeant Slaughter, all the way up to like John Cena, Jack Swagger, and I mean they've got some great wrestlers in here from Triple H, The Rock, Edge, Hulk Hogan, Kane, The Undertaker. There's a, a lot of different characters in here, all the way through wrestling, from like the 1970s all the way to 2011. And they've covered it very well, you know, the costumes are the same, they have the entrances, they're all the same, they're all fancy, and you know, the music's there, and it's very self-pleasing when you're watching it, it is good. You know what I mean, here it's showing you that, that their different finishing moves, and as you can tell from the graphics straight away, it is cartoony, and the finishing moves are quite over-exaggerated, but I think it is quite self-pleasing in itself. And I mean, I've brought you here some uh, gameplay between The Big Show and Rey Mysterio, just a non-single match, just to show you guys, um, you know, the general gameplay. You know what I mean, we'll start with the graphics, the graphics I believe, you know, they are cartoony, but they are quite realistic, you know, it just show you the arena and all the audience. Um, you know what I mean, the characters have been generally beefed up, uh, but they do look good, I think, you know, from a design graphics sort of way, even though it's cartoony, and I'm not usually into quite cartoony games, I do think it is, you know what I mean, overall, you know what I mean, it's quite good game and it's you know I mean, the graphics are good. In terms of controls, you know what I mean the controls are quite simple. You know I mean you don't grapple with the uh, like the R stick like you do in some other games. It's you grapple with circle R X um, and you just press different buttons for different moves. You know what I mean it, it, it's quite easy to move around, to run around um, and it's a lot easier to like perform like finishing moves. You just press L1 and R1 or one on two on PS3, sorry, um, to provide your finisher. Now, I mean, generally, it is good gameplay. The reversal side of things is really easy to do. It's a lot easier than SmackDown versus Raw. Um, THQ have done a quite a good job. You know, I mean, it is it is quite over over realistic of you. You know, what I mean, it is over exaggerated. When you do like the finishing moves, you're chucking them meters up in the air and slamming them down. But from a self-pleasing point of view, it is rather, it is self-pleasing. You know what I mean? The campaign on it, it's you just like follow the path of the characters, or you can. There's like a fantasy warfare where you, you can match up like Sergeant Slaughter and Jack Swagger for um, the All-American American, or you can do things like you can take a, you can fight the Undertaker in like a casket match. Um, so there is like different sides of it, so you can't get bored. But I must admit, from playing it, I've owned it for about two to three weeks now, and I completed it probably in about a week. You do get a lot of trophies for it for PlayStation 3. Um, once you've completed it, it's one of them games that you you can pick it up and you can have a laugh, but you can't really play it for like hours and hours on end. It's one of them things, kind of, you know, when you're bored with all your different games, you can kind of pick it up for a different change if you're with me. Um, it is, in general, in the game, I'd probably give it about 8 out of 10. I do think it is a lot better than Smackdown vs Raw. The gameplay is a lot easier, the graphics, I think. the more It's more of a self-pleasing game than Smackdown vs Raw. I'd say they're trying to be more realistic, but in turn, if you want to play like a campaign, Smackdown vs Raw probably is better, but in terms of gameplay, for fun and enjoyment out of the game, I would say WWE All Stars is a good game to go out there and buy so that you can have a laugh and play and you can use all the different wrestlers that um, WWE All Stars provides. Um, you can you, you can get like weapons from under the ring and stuff. You know what I mean? It does bring on a lot of different. I haven't. There isn't a ladder match in it, but there is cage, there's casket match, there's tag matches. You can have triple threat, um, elimination. There is no WrestleMania on it, so you can't throw them out of the ring or anything. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not a wrestling fan really. You know what I mean? I've always liked playing wrestling games, and when I was a kid, I used to uh, watch wrestling. But now. 
you know, I mean, I do like to have a general play on a wrestling game, but I don't really follow wrestling. So, but, you know, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to love The Rock, and it's got The Rock in it, and you could do, like, The Rock Slam, The People's Elbow, and we like Kane, you could do The Choke Slam. And the finishing moves are great, they're spectacular, you know, they've got lots of different colours. You could do the other signature moves as well, so you can't just do, like, The Rock Slam, you could do The People's Elbow, with, like, Kane, you could do The Choke Slam, or The Tombstone. So I do believe THQ have done a good job in covering, you know what I mean, all the wrestlers and the costumes and the entrances rather well. And overall, I'd probably give this game an 8 out of 10. You know what I mean, I picked it up for about £12 in England and I thought, you know what I mean, for that, it, you know what I mean, for the game, for self-pleasing reasons, it kind of worked out rather well. So yeah, that's what I'm identified for, bringing my first ever.